Converting fractions to decimals is really just a quick calculation on your calculator. I mean, we all have our calculators. You're going to do 421 divided by 10,000. You're going to get yourself a decimal place. But what I'd like you to notice is when you do that and you get this answer on your calculator of 0 decimal 0421, why you get that answer is because 10,000 has four zeros in the denominator, which ends up giving you four decimal places, right? So the decimal would be there, one, two, three, four, you need to add a zero. So that's the connection, right? There's four zeros, when you do the division, you're gonna end up with four decimal places, right? Same thing here, there's four zeros, you're gonna end up with four decimal places. So don't be surprised when the decimal was here, one, two, three, four, and you end up with an answer of 12.3067, right? Because dividing by 10,000, is the same as moving the decimal place to the left by four spots. If you were to divide by, say, 100, there's two zeros, you would move it to the left by two spots, right? Number of zeros is how far your decimal will move. Okay, but generally we'll just throw these into our calculator, get the answers. It's just always nice to see a little bit of the theory behind it.